I don't want to shit on outdoor comedy. It's better than Zoom comedy. I don't know if you ever... Yeah, well, I had to do it. And it's hard to look like a comedian over Zoom. It's hard to look like a comedian over webcam. I don't look like a comedian over webcam. I look like I'm about to show you my dick on chat with that. <laughs> I'm excited to be back doing comedy, man. I was, I was locked up for a while, man. I, and I, I, during the lockup, I, like, no one tells you shit. I just moved in with my girlfriend and no one told me anything, you know? No one, no one tells you when you move in with someone, they're always there. <laughs> I didn't know until I closed that door. I was like, oh, you're here, all right. Isn't isn't that great? I didn't know certain things about, I didn't know you had to make the bed every day. <laughs> day one, my girlfriend's like, you gonna make the bed? I was like, are we in the army, Sergeant? <laughs> Is breakfast still at 0800 hours? <laughs> I didn't know how important paper towels were in the relationship. Oh, you wanna end the relationship? Don't have paper towels, it's fucking over, dude. <laughs> My girlfriend, she's got cleaning superpowers. I spilled a glass of water silently in the other room. Didn't make a sound. And she was just like, do you need a paper towel? I was like, can you smell wet? What? By the way, we don't have any. I didn't know. I didn't know. She got mad at me for playing video games too. Um, and I always thought it was because she hated video games. Turns out it's the way I play the video games. <laughs> she had never seen a man more dedicated and focused <laughs> in his entire life. <laughs> Take me on a date, I'm a dog at the beach. Hand me a Xbox controller, I am Bobby Fischer in front of a chessboard. <laughs> I didn't know, I, and I thought it's because she thought like maybe they caused violence. Do you guys think that's true? I didn't think it was true till, till the pandemic, right? Like I didn't, because I was like, how do video games cause violence? I've been playing Madden, which is a football video game for 20 years, right? I, never once have I wanted to play football. <laughs> I had never been playing Madden for eight hours and been like, man, I'm ready to take some snaps. Let's <laughs> How does that shit cause violence if it don't even cause sports, all right? <laughs> then I started playing that game Fortnite, started getting cyber bullied by little fucking nine-year-olds and shit. <laughs> you sound old. What are you, like 20? <laughs> I'm 34, little bitch. Uh, <laughs> you still live with your parents? I'll shoot up your school, kid. I, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pumped to see the mask mandate come back too, because I just bought my first cloth mask. And <laughs> boy, does it feel good judging people, you know? It feels so good, just like I, it's, I, it's the only time I get political. Like I, I, as soon as I got that cloth mask, I would just see someone with a surgical mask on. I'd be like, you're poor. What? <laughs> They're like, wait, are you a nurse? Stop stealing valor. <laughs> then I see someone with a mask on driving in their car and I'd be like, oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> it's a pandemic. <laughs> I moved from San Francisco um, and uh, I had to get out of there because uh, it was expensive, man. Down here's a little cheaper. I don't know. Up there, man, I paid $3,000 a month to, to live there. And that was just in parking tickets. That was <laughs> <laughs> and it was always street cleaning. Could someone tell me how, that's a, how I'm paying $80? Well, Mark, just wake up and move your car. <laughs> Have you ever tried to wake up that early? It, it's not possible. <laughs> You're in a dream state, bro. <laughs> and how the hell do I gotta wake up at, at the year 2022? I gotta wake up, is it 2021? <laughs> Anybody else get too high before my set? <laughs> I gotta wake up to move my car so you could clean the streets? You mean to tell me you can't invent a brush? 
that goes under my fucking vehicle? I know that technology exists. I've been reading Sharper Image catalogs for 30 years. Do I gotta go on a Shark Tank? Call the Sham Wow guy and be like, we got an idea. $80 to clean the streets, right? That's what it is, $80, so much money, and yet I'm stepping over people that look like me, okay? <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth. Why don't we spend that fine money on the homeless, you know? Homeless problem is such a problem. Why don't we spend that fine money on the homeless? That's what I thought. And then someone would come up to me, and, and, and they'd be like, hey, actually, do you know that California spends the most money on homeless people in the nation? It's true. And I heard that, and I was like, well, we should probably st stop buying them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a business guy, <laughs> but I think the market is flooded, yo. I think, I think it's a bubble, it's gonna pop, and we gotta start selling these motherfuckers. I'm talking, buy crypto, buy Cardano, sell homeless. That's... <laughs> and that's why I look like this. You gotta look like this. You have to, you look like this, they don't fucking talk to you. You, you blend in. <laughs> I walk by one, he's like, what's up? I go, hey, he goes, you wanna buy a pool table? I was like. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, does it look like I can afford a pool table? <laughs> We're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> he was like, it's just $200. I was like, hell yeah, I wanna buy it. <laughs> he was like, cool man, just needs new felt and new bumpers. I was like, fuck, are you selling me a table right now? <laughs> this is a table with six drink holders? What the fuck is <laughs> Yeah, man, living with the with living with the with the partner during the pandemic, shit gets weird. You know, at one point she was like, we, we started doing a couples therapy thing, and 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 we're still doing it now. But like, it's a weird thing because when she first she was like, I think we should go to couples therapy, and I was like, I think we need to get a divorce. <laughs> and she was like, we're not married, and I was like, why the fuck are we going to couples therapy? <laughs> I was, uh, but then I don't know if any of you guys have been to couples therapy, but if you've ever won an argument in front of an audience. <laughs> Yo, that shit's invigorating, bro. <laughs> First session out, therapist. Mark, you know what? You have a point. And I was like, let's fucking go, bro. Let's go. You ever catch a dub in therapy? <laughs> Woo! Damn, it feels good. I was getting ASMR talking. I was like, damn. Man. And we're trying to be like more open in the relationship, right? That's, that's the best part, right? We went to Good Vibrations for the first time together. This is a sex toy shop. And I'm looking at guys' face. Anytime I mention sex toys in front of guys, they're always, they always get like, <laughs> they're like, what, I can't get the job done? No. <laughs> Am I right? They can't. You can, I get it. I, 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 I relate it like this, like I play a lot of video games, right? Sometimes the video games are hard to beat. Um, so I go online and I get the cheat codes. <laughs> game's still fun to play, you know? Still a very fun game. So my girl, yeah, so we went there. And, uh, and some guys will be like, oh, I'm just trying to spice it up. That's what, that's code word. Oh, I'm just trying to spice all, oh, and that's just code for, oh, you can't make her come either, huh? That's, <laughs> and that's what we went. We went to go spice it up, you know? We went to the sex toy shop, so I'm, I was gonna buy something for me. She was gonna buy, you know, I was gonna, we we're gonna buy something for her. And, we're gonna, and turns out, there's not a lot for me. <laughs> Guys, we don't have a lot of sex toys to choose from. And I realized that when we went shopping together. Because we walk in and it's just, just all the shit is for women, y'all. Y'all got different, y'all got the rabbit. It's a cool name. That's inviting, y'all. 
it's the rat's got little duck feet on it and shit. It looked like, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Matrix, but there's a scene in that movie where the room gets white and it's just like an aisles of guns. <laughs> and it's like, pick your weapon. What? <laughs> That's what it is for women. <laughs> Whoa. Every toy has different colorways like Air Jordans and shit. Oh, y'all got the magenta throwback rabbit from 96? Damn, that's limited edition. She's having a ball. I'm getting excited. I'm like, hell yeah, what well, now me, you know? I go up to the guy that's helping us. I was like, yo, what about for me? And he goes, do you like things up your butt? I was like, hey dog, she's right there. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> he goes, we don't got an aisle for you. And <laughs> then he leads me to the back of the room. There's like cobwebs there and shit. And like, and, and he goes, yeah, here you go. And he tosses me the flashlight, which guys don't get silent on me because I know you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because it's our only sex toy and it's fucking ridiculous. It's disrespectful, dude. A flashlight that I'm supposed to have sex with? I don't want to have sex with a flashlight. I want to have sex with the rabbit, you know? But why? Because we're guys and we're tough. We don't get to fuck a toy. We got to fuck a tool, you know? What I'm like, has anybody got a crescent wrench that I could have sex with? Can, can I just lay under a car, you splash oil on my face? Is, is that cool? So we bring it, we ring it up. I, I pay for them both, and she brings it up. I, 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 I buy that. I buy something for my girlfriend called the Womanizer. And this is a little device. You know? You know about it? You don't know? He doesn't know that you have it? Dog, I bring it up, it's $250. Yeah, flesh like $19.99. Matte black, you know? That's, womanizer, $250. That's how much I pay for my Honda Civic every month. So I'm looking at this thing, I'm like, yo, is this JD Power Award winning? Is this thing come with a warranty? What kind of, kind of specs on this thing? We, we take it home for a test drive, and uh, listen, man, bust that out. Buy the Womanizer, bro. I, yo, buy the Womanizer, because my girlfriend started making faces that I had never seen before. I'm talking, I had never unlocked these levels. <laughs> I'm talking level eight, level nine. I was like, where are we? She started doing this thing. She... You ever seen that face? You ever seen that face? Buy the fucking... It looked like she was going back through time. <laughs> I was like, is a portal opening up right now? <laughs> so I'm like, this is going good. Yo, in the middle of it, she tries to tag me in. She was like, all right, babe, your turn. I was like, what the fuck, coach? I didn't, I didn't know me and this thing were tag team champions. And I'm supposed to fly over the ropes, finish you off after the robot that was built to finish you off. I thought I'm playing on easy. All of a sudden, I'm on all Madden. <laughs> playing Jeopardy against Watson. What the fuck? I wasn't built to finish you off. I was built to disappoint you. That's why I bought the goddamn thing. That's why I paid $250. I'm taking the night off. And I grab my pillow, grab my flashlight. I got the fuck out of the house. Guys, thank you very much, man. I'm Mark Smalls. Have a great night.